Hey guys, Andrew Esquivel here, back with another shrimp tank update. So, today we're going to be talking about my Dream Blue Velvet Shrimp Tank. You can see right here, they're eating some nom noms, and some veggie pellets I gave them. So, you know, they're happy, they're healthy, they're having fun doing their thing. But uh, today specifically, I want to talk about a little device that I've had in my shrimp tank here for a while, and my thoughts on it. So you've probably seen this thing over here and thought, what in the world is it? Well, to put it short, it is a biofilm reactor. Don't know what that is? That's okay. I don't think there's any major manufacturers out there that make a biofilm reactor. In order to understand what the theory is behind it and what it's trying to do, we have to first understand what these shrimps tend to eat. So when they're not eating these specialized veggie pellets, they're scouring the tank for what is essentially biofilm. It's just a buildup of bacteria and such that they find edible. And it grows on pretty much everything, especially sponge filters and pretty much any surface area that you have in the tank. Now you may not personally be able to see it, but these little guys know it's there. And that's what they're picking at all the time, too, and if you can't see what they're picking at. Now here's the thing. When a shrimp colony gets very big, there just isn't enough biofilm to go around. So, if you're not supplementing your shrimp's diet daily, they may starve, they may get hungry, maybe even a little competitive for nom noms. We don't want that to happen, so we have a biofilm reactor. Now the theory behind this is that it uses K1 moving bed media inside of a little containment unit with a metal grate on the bottom of it because the idea is that this thing builds up bacteria on it, much in the same way that your sponge filter does, nitrifying and denitrifying bacteria, so the same type that converts ammonia to nitrite and nitrite to nitrate. So this is another type of filter on top of everything, keep that in mind. But as the media gets matured and has bacteria growing on it, it'll turn from a white plasticky substance to a little bit brown as it starts to get covered with the bacteria. and as these things clash together inside of this little reactor, the biofilm on the media should get knocked loose and fall to the bottom of the shrimp tank, supplementing the biofilm that these little guys probably need. Because if there's not enough to go around, the idea is that this K1 media has really good surface area. So there's a lot more surface area contained in here per well, square inch of used space in the tank than there is on the tank naturally. So, good idea, right? Well, the thing is, it's kind of questionable as to whether or not these things really work or not. That's why I don't think you've seen any major manufacturers make these. This one was uh, custom made by someone named Elevate Shrimp. He does a lot of really cool stuff. He or she, I'm sorry, I, I never learned uh, who exactly the person is, but there's an individual, let's say, that makes this and they use a special type of material that they 3D print into the shape and there's a little magnet that holds this in place so no suction cups to worry about thankfully and Elevate Shrimp makes a lot of other really cool shrimp stuff you really should check uh, Elevate Shrimp out but uh, this is one of the things that they sell and this is the smaller version and I thought to myself well hey anything to make my little buddies feel better and make them more happy is good by me so I'm gonna get one it's been in this tank for a number of months now and it has gone from white to a bit brown I'm not entirely sure it's fully matured yet because if it was there would be a lot more shrimp hanging around underneath it or at least on the grate where it might collect up a little more now, sure, right now I, I put in some special food, and they always go for the special food, but even when they're not eating the noms that I put in there manually, I don't really see many of them hanging around underneath the biofilm reactor. So that makes me wonder, does it really work? And that's kind of debated amongst a lot of aquarists. That's the problem. No one has enough of these. There's not enough data collected about these to really tell whether or not these things work. I think I'm currently one of a very small number of people who has one, and I'd like to think that they work, and it'd be awesome if they do, because my shrimp colonies can get upwards of hundreds of shrimp per 10 gallon, 
that's a lot of shrimp and I do sell them when it's time to uh, thin the herd and you know that helps a bit but you know there, there can be a lot of shrimp and that means a lot of nom noms so I guess what I'm saying is I don't know if it works but you know I'm I have it nevertheless in case it does and I figured I would just explain what this thing is now if you have a biofilm reactor I would love to hear what you think about yours. You can probably make your own biofilm reactor if you really wanted to using a plastic bottle for instance as long as it's you know aquarium safe style or type of plastics but uh, I mean the concept is pretty pretty simple. That being said uh, I opted for the 3D printed stuff because I wanted it to be nice and you know professional and it looks great I love this thing. It's cool. I just wish I knew if it worked. But, anywho, yeah, I thought I would just explain what that is in case anyone had any questions. But, like I said, I do have a question for anyone else who has one. Does it work for you? Do you notice your shrimps going after it? And more importantly, those who are familiar with moving bed media, someone tell me, is this media even cycled? Because it's not as brown as I think it should be. I'm having a hard time getting this stuff to really cycle thoroughly. That's the hard part. Getting it, it, This whole concept just doesn't work unless that media, that K1 media, is really, really well cycled. So, let me know what you guys think.